everyone. I'm Crystal Cruz. If you drove by Midland Memorial Hospital today, you probably saw a group of protesters carrying signs. They call it the anti medical tyranny protest. And if you're wondering what that's all about, here's Francisco Soto to explain. Crystal, I was at the protest this morning and I spoke to one of the organizers. She explained to me that they are protesting forced medical mandates, such as employers requiring their staff to get vaccinated. Right now you see just people's rights being taken away just due, most right now due to a vaccine. So we're protesting here for medical freedom. Let's go. America, the protest Tuesday morning gathering a group of about 50 people. I'm just a mom that's kind of fed up with the system and I mentioned to a few friends that I wanted to organize something to raise awareness and advocate for medical freedom and it just kind of took off so I don't have a specific group or anything that I'm a part of we're just activists for medical freedom. An ideal Finch isn't alone in. If we don't stand now, I'm, I'm afraid of what will happen in the future. The agenda to violate our bodily autonomy and decide what gets injected into our bodies has progressed so rapidly over the last few months that I fear what will happen if we don't stand now. I'm here to give a voice for people that want the choice to have this vaccine. We should all be able to express our um, our view on whether we want to take this vaccine or not. If you don't want something, you shouldn't have to take it and lose your job for it. The people out here just hope others stand up for what they believe in, regardless of what that is. Just, I hope that we can encourage other people to stand up for their rights. And uh, we just have to have the right to uh, still have the freedom to choose and um, it's just not right to be mandating something. And Crystal, the protest started around 10 in the morning and ended around noon. Back to you.